Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have brought in another wide receiver into the mix as they have signed wide receiver Cody Thompson to the team. Real quick addendum and note from my Sterling Shepard video, as a few of you had pointed out in the comments section of that video, uh, Sterling Shepard played with Baker Mayfield at Oklahoma. So just wanted to make a note of that, just wanted to uh, comment on that. They didn't spend a ton of time together while at Oklahoma. Sterling Shepard was there from 2012 to 2015, whereas Baker Mayfield was at Oklahoma from 2014 to 20. 17th they spent you know a two years together still something right it's still a little something but they do have a connection there baker and sterling shepherd are reunited once more but back to cody thompson coming in now again this is a kind of a special teams depth wide receiver type of move cody thompson's got great size coming in at six foot two 205 pounds he played college football at toledo from 2014 to 2018 went undrafted in 2019 and when i was looking at his overall time in the nfl so far to this point it was very interesting to see the the level of teams that cody thompson has been a part of real quick uh, from his time at Toledo, five seasons, 3,312 receiving yards and 30 receiving touchdowns, a school record. So congratulations to Cody Thompson for that. But before joining the Bucks, the former two-time first team all Mac player, if you look, was a part of some good organizations in 2019. He spent the offseason with teams like the Kansas City Chiefs, the Seattle Seahawks and the Cincinnati Bengals. It's pretty darn good in my opinion. He would then spend 2019 to 2023 with the Seattle Seahawks at that point. You guys can take a look here. Signed a futures contract, was part of the final roster cuts, had a game, was elevated to the active roster in 2021 against the Vikings, signed another reserves contract in 2022, placed on the injured reserve in 2023, made the initial final roster for the Seahawks as a special teamer, that's important to note, and a backup wide receiver. You keep on going, elevated to the active roster, had a 10-yard reception against the New York Giants uh, this past 2023 season. So shout out to him for that, you know, on again, off again with the roster, practice squad, whatever it may be, didn't sign a futures contract with the Seahawks at the end of the day. So now he finds himself with the Buccaneers. But again, you know, getting looks from the Chiefs, the Seahawks and the Bengals, and then the Seahawks liking you enough to give you another look, it's pretty impressive in my opinion. And I think Cody Thompson going forward, is going to be a guy maybe 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 battling for a special team spot maybe battling for a backup wide receiver spot although we'll have to wait and see how he gets along yes the bucks did release devin Tompkins, but they also brought in sterling shepherd as well so not a lot of room left on that wide receiver depth chart and you have a lot of undrafted guys who are in that mix also so it's going to be a bit of an uphill climb in my opinion for cody thompson but again i like that all these other organizations were interested in him high level organizations in my opinion seems like he has the potential for all of those different teams to be interested all playoff caliber teams so I'm going to give credit where credit's due, man. And hey, he does have a school record at Toledo, which I think is pretty fun as well. So what do you guys think about this signing? Let me know your thoughts and opinions about it down in the comments section below. I'd love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. As always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go box.